minor Gothic drops anchor at Aden. She has travelled about 18 and a half thousand miles around the globe, and Aden, the gateway between East and West, is her last port of call. On her journey, she has taken our Queen to many lands to meet many people. The scene at Aden is typical. Thousands of cheering, loyal subjects welcoming their own Queen on their own soil. Important as a coal and oil station as well as a trade route, Aden has a mixed population of Arabs, Indians, Pakistanis and Somalis. Eagerly they gather for a glimpse of their royal visitors when in Crescent Gardens, Her Majesty and the Duke attend a great military parade. Taking part in the march past are government guards, Aden protectorate levies, the Aden armed police and the Hadrami Bedouin leader. Immediately following the armoured vehicles come the camel troops. Now, for the first time during the tour, the Queen holds an investiture in public. Air Marshal Sir Claude Pelly, Commander-in-Chief Middle East Air Force, receives the accolade. He uses a chair following the custom of the Muslims, whose religion forbids them to kneel to anyone but Allah. The Councillor of the Qatiri State in Eastern Aden receives the accolade. Although the temperature is about 90 degrees, the Queen appears cool throughout the lengthy ceremony. During her two-day stay in the Protectorate, the Queen expresses her confidence in the future of Aden, which she describes as an outstanding example of colonial development. 